Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you the Stranger Things text effect that you see in the intro sequence of the Netflix original Stranger Things. Season 2 just came out and it's almost Halloween so I thought it'd be the perfect time to release this tutorial. This looks really good on logos, thumbnails, and advertisement posters so hopefully this video will help you out. If you did watch season 2 of Stranger Things, comment below Mad Max so I know. And yeah, with that being said, let's just get into the video. So the first thing you want to do is create a new project. The dimensions and all the settings really depend on what you're creating. The dimensions and settings for a thumbnail is going to be different than a poster and so on. So it really is on you what you're going to do with this portion of the tutorial. But one thing's for sure, you want the color mode as RGB color. Otherwise, if it was on grayscale, it would be black and white and you do not want that. So let's just press create. I'm using the dimensions of a thumbnail so I have more space to work with, but it's really up to you. So the first thing you want to do is set the background as white. Even though in the title sequence, the background is black and the text is black, that's because you can actually see the text with the effect applied. We want to set the background as white just for now, just so that we can actually see the text because we haven't applied the effect yet. We're going to switch back to black later on, but for now, while we're creating the text, we're going to leave it as white. So there's two ways to do this. You can just select on the rectangle tool, select the fill as white, and then just drag like this. Or what you can do is go to the color picker, select white, and then press alt backspace and it'll make it white. So there you have it. Now what you want to do is download this font called Ben Gui A. It's free in the description. It's the closest thing I could find to the original Stranger Things font. It probably is the Stranger Things font because it looks really similar. But yeah, you want to click on the canvas and select the font as black. For this tutorial, I'm going to type down my name, so Steven. You may notice in the title sequence that the first letter and the last letter of the first word are the biggest letters. So we're going to type those ones separately. So N, right, we're going to move it. We're going to align it in the middle or not the middle, but align it along the top right here. And then now we're going to type in the rest of the letters. You may also notice in the title sequence that the letters are very close to each other. I think they're touching. So what you want to do is highlight this text or press control A and then press control T now and then change the vertical alignment so that they touch or they're very closely touching. It doesn't really look good in this instance because it overlaps. So you would just want to do it so that it's barely touching. So highlight this and then just move it to like this point. So negative 40, negative 60 probably, something like that. And there you have it. Now you want to make the text smaller. You can either change the text font right here or you can press control T and then uh, free transform. So hold shift and drag, just make it smaller and then align it along the top right here. I accidentally put the N. So let's delete that and then align it. And then there you have it. Now for the next step, you want to type in the second word. For Stranger Things, it was things. Now for me, it's going to be van because that's my name. And I'm going to resize this using the free transform and then just move it right here. Something like that. Now to make sure that everything's aligned properly, you want to group this separately from the second word. So highlight the first word, press control G to group. Or what you can do is you can just drag it onto this folder icon. It'll group. It's the same thing. So let me just label this as Steven. And you can press control A to select all. Go to layer, aligns layers to selection and then horizontal centers. Or you can just press the shortcut right here. Then you want to do the same thing with Van right here and just align in the middle. And to align everything in the middle. So both the words because you just don't want to align you know, Steven in the middle horizontally like this, vertically like this. You want to group both of these. So press control G and now you want to press this shortcut and this shortcut. So this shortcut is align horizontal centers. This is vertical centers. So you can go to layer, align layers to vertical centers as well. And then there you have it straight in the middle. In the show, basically what happens is there's a huge rectangle at the very top here. So we're going to set the fill as black, the same as the text, and then make the stroke nothing. So press on this red line thing right here. We're going to make this a bit thicker upward. So we're just going to move this a little bit upward. Press control T to do that. And now we're going to align this in the middle as well. We're going to duplicate this, press control T, and we're going to now do it to the bottom of the text now. So for the first and last letters right here. So we're going to do the same thing. Duplicate this and there we go. And then you can see that they're aligned now, obviously with that outline, that pink guideline. And there you have it. So now we're gonna just make sure that everything is perfectly in the middle. So press control G, group them all, and then just center it. There you go. And now we're gonna apply the glow effect that is so popular. So to make it easier for yourself, you wanna group everything so that you can apply the effect 
to the entire group instead of doing it individually. So we already did that. When I right click, press blending options, press stroke, make the size five or around five, like three, four, five, make the position outside, select the color as red or whatever color you want. And then for utter glow, you want to select the blend mode as hard light, the opacity around 30. So that it isn't like solid glow like that. You want to make it like a subtle glow. You want to select the size around 30 and the spread the same as the size you did right here. So the size is five. So my spread would be five. And then the spread, I mean, the size would be, you know, whatever you want, really. I wouldn't recommend it to be like that. that. That doesn't really look good. That doesn't really give an effect. So something like 40, 30 would be good. And the reason you want to select hard light as the blend mode is usually it's on screen and you won't be able to see it because of the white background. So you want to select hard light right now and then press OK. So as you can see, we have the effect all done. Now we want to create the black background. So select black right here and then press alt backspace. And then there we have it. I think the top layer is a bit too close to the text. So I'm going to find which one that is and just move it up a little bit. And then there we go. Now we're going to add two finishing touches. We're going to add an overlay glow to make some parts of the lighting brighter than the other to make it more realistic. So how you do this is you make a new layer. You set the blend mode as overlay and then just click on random spots you want to make brighter. So here, here, maybe there. And then there we go. If we hide it, you can see where it's applied. Now for the last step, you want to create another layer and this time we will keep it as normal but we'll change the white to black and also when you're using these brushes you want to make sure that the size is around like 100 200 and you want to make sure the hardness is zero so that it's a soft brush so for black right here i'm gonna make it actually a bit bigger so like 350 and we're just gonna go over the outlines of some of the text make it smaller so that we can go in between the text now and the reason we want to do this is because obviously not the entire text is going to be the same glow, the same color, right? Because we want to make it really realistic and kind of give it a dark mood. So now we're just going to lower the opacity and then there we have the effect. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. And yeah, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.